Mic check, mic check, mic check. What is going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you guys can hear me, I'm going to need everybody to do me one huge favor and drop y'all location. It's been a minute since I've been tapped in. What is going on, everybody? How we feeling? How we feeling? And once, some, once, can you guys, yeah, you guys can hear me clear. We good. What is going on, world? I see we got people tapped in from Romania. We got Chicago. We got Miami, India, New York, New Zealand. Africa, Jordan, uh, South Africa. Yes, sir. VA, let's go. Atlanta, Portland, Ireland. Let's go. All right, guys. So first and foremost, um, we see that we dropping with oil. There's a play that I can potentially see, but uh, from the looks of whatever market is telling me, we're going to have to see what is going on. I don't know exactly if it wants to actually keep continuing to go down, but I do see a small liquidity phase. However, however, we could still see another reaction going to the downside. It's just all about what market wants to give us at this time. All right, cool. So yeah, like I said, um, currently looking at uh, oil per usual. Um, and I'm trying to exactly see what is going on with oil right now. I do know that we do have a small liquidity phase, but since it's so small, it can still mitigate this a whole entire play and we can actually just see the drop. So I'm very cautious of what's going on right now. Actually, this is roughly when we should start seeing momentum within oil. And that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for that momentum in oil. I will tell you guys that uh, it's been going nothing but up since the London session. Uh, typically doing um, London, New York, both combined, you usually will see confusion, which means it will just go the other direction, uh, but not necessarily all the time. However, in this instance, I do see that we could have a, uh, like I said, a potential small liquidity run going on with this pair uh, or with this commodity. So I want to really observate this one because it could play any direction right now it could definitely play any direction and thankfully with my uh risk strategy even if i'm wrong we should still be able to manage some profits or some way so let's see how this plays out like i said we're gonna see how this plays out um this is one of my poi levels here we do have another poi level which we could actually technically it's all of this here right this whole entire thing is all my poi level um, if I see it coming further down, I could definitely see it coming here, but that's something realistically, not what I'm interested in, uh, more interested in right now, where price is at for us oil. So we're going to see where this go. We're going to see how this plays out. And then, uh, other than that, I was looking at gold. I definitely seen gold. Let me go on a higher scale. Let me show you guys what's going on. So on a higher scale with gold, we have been doing nothing but dropping. Uh, we did tap into my fit play, my fit point. Now that being said, even if we start scaling down, you guys see that we have breaks, breaks of structure here. Uh, we have this uh, market shift. Let me. We got market shift happening right here. Um, and then I'm also, you know what? Let me take out this session. All right. So I see we got market shift right here, right? If you guys look, we got the market shift, which is just a change, change of direction, however you guys want to call it. But we have it here. I'm waiting on that. Uh, essentially, essentially, I'm waiting on that pullback. Realistically, <clears throat> I needed to tap into my midpoint, which is right here, in order for me to be uh, confident and uh, comfortable and follow my rules with this actual trade. I needed to come somewhat down here in order for me to take this trade. Otherwise, not really much of a setup just because I know this is my last point of interest, which is my last settlement in the market, which is technically off of this range. This is my midpoint. And realistically, if I can get market to come back into 
we're looking at around 18 12 that's perfect position for me so i can actually manage my stop loss right so i can uh have a nice stop loss and have it in an area that makes sense um other than that yes we still have our eyes open on us oil uh let's see let's see let's see UK oil, US oil always plays out very well. Very well. Bro, go took my 30 US two stop loss. Go, go, uh, uh, you know, honestly, thing about gold is I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of not, I wouldn't say like worried about it, but, um, I just know since. <laughs> since uh fe was it february i think it was february 1st um if i'm not mistaken i think the beginning of this month we we've been very yeah we've been very aggressive going down so now seeing that we finally tapping into some of these levels that um i've been waiting for which is the negative 61827 which of course we got liquidity resting all right here right or we got liquidity everywhere off of this trend you know, the only time I would say, oh, guys, we're going to actually go all the way up is when we take out this one hour high. Until we take out this one hour high, that's when I will say, all right, guys, we should be actually seeing, uh, should be seeing gold actually heading up at this time. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Let me turn that down. All right. So we should be seeing gold going up. Um, only if we can take out around 1823.618. That's 691 I'm at. Only if we can take that out. You know, otherwise, yeah. Um, can I explain how I use my fibs to find TPs? Yeah, if we actually can catch a trade today, absolutely. So oil, yeah, I'm looking at it. Um, we this thing, there's something that's actually kind of scare me and throw me off a little bit it's this aggressive move to the downside even though i see this little small liquidity phase we have been going up right it could actually play out two ways it could play out here and then decide to drop but i don't really see that happening um it's got to do a lot a lot of it's got to have a lot of momentum for sellers to come in otherwise i don't see nothing but up because you know if we're looking more Outternal, external, we see that we have aggressive buyers in the market. So, for me, what I will want to see on a smaller scale, like a two minute, one minute time frame, is a high to form. Once we form that high, something just like this right here. Once we see, uh, establish the high is settled, I will wait on it to break and then pull, and then I can get in for that tight entry. <clears throat> so we got to be cautious because like i was saying earlier we do have this smaller liquidity phase play right here where we have our high and we have our low right i say if there's i always say this if there's ever any uh interruptions i always make sure or any any interruptions with liquidity equal equal highs and equal lows I tend to go with that and follow that before I actually go with anything else. So typically I will be all in for buying and I'm still in for buying because we took the highs out first and then now we drop, which meant basically we took the lows out. And on top of that, we should now start seeing us oil head to the upside. And that's kind of where we at right now with it. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Thank you, bro, for uh, uh, the news. Uh, well, let, let's look at it. So, yeah, we do got a um, wow. Yeah, we got some uh, some news coming in literally uh, 15 minutes. 
About 15 minutes, we got uh, CB uh, Consumers News coming. Oh, that's not it. Hold on. Yeah, we have that coming on. And then also, um, there's not really un anything, in anything else that's interesting right now besides that. Because uh, I don't trade anything else but, you know, commodities. And that's really it, guys. really it so i'm gonna keep my eyes open on this one like i said man i see the liquidity phase happening i just got i just really got to see what's going on on this internal structure right now it's either i can catch it or miss it <laughs> you know uh, another thing about oh another thing about go, um nasdaq is that dollar guys is going to be going up because we are in a liquidity phase and wow we are already booming um let me see something. Yeah. Maybe we can catch a uh, pullback. You guys know we got to really be on a smaller scale to find that. But maybe we can catch a pullback off of this recent high, which is really here. But it don't matter. They're close together. So I'm going to just go ahead and say this is the high. Uh, My only area, though, that peaks interest, honestly, as of right now. See, this range isn't completed yet, guys. That's the problem. This range got to complete first in order for me to sit here and say that uh, we're going to come down here. What I mean by a range, for those that don't know, make sure you subscribe for one. But what I mean by a range is a range is a trend, an impulse of trend. It's an up or down trend. That's It's literally that simple. In order for you to identify the full capacity of the range, you will need to wait on the uh, market. Or you need to wait on market to break internal structure. So when you see a potential uptrend or not really potential but when you see a, a uptrend or a downtrend and then you're like right now for instance we're like okay it's going up right you go internally into that 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 um, actual trend like a if you're on a five minute you go into a smaller scale like a one minute if you got seconds you go into seconds and then from there you start looking for the lows and the highs settlements that's all it really is so if you're looking right here this is a settlement we have where price settled right here where price went up and then it went down that's a settlement so at this time being this is the new internal low if we break through this low that basically confirms that this was my range and if we do break this low that means that i'm looking for a extreme poi or a midpoint poi within that and then i am going to be taking my opportunity if i see buying pressure in this instance buying pressure with my pa pattern if that falls suit if not i look for momentum which is really like multiple candlesticks in the same like in a zone like in a small box and then i take the trade so that's kind of really what it is um but we know like not like i said if you ain't in nasdaq you ain't in nasdaq if you ain't in nasdaq you ain't in nasdaq oil okay it took the highs that i see yeah see as you see gold is now moving up so that confirms that this is still a whole entire range right here. Uh, we did have a smaller range, right? Which was this to that, but that wasn't enough for me. Um, we got to see if we can take that low out in order for me to confirm it. Because we can still... Uh, let me delete this. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. We can still come down, but I don't necessarily now see it coming all the way back to this area necessarily. Go could be moving weird because the news is going to happen in about 10 minutes. Alright, so uh, it, I guess um, U.S. oil took the high out but then just ran it right back down so yeah uh, and it did nothing i thought it was gonna supposed to break out uh mike's dollar is dropping to a uh, lower poi well here's the thing about dollar um we took these lows out right but if we look right here this is the most recent high technically we had a somewhat of a um, power move out of that high but that's not enough for me 
Uh, so we could still be dropping a little bit, and then possibly I could start seeing that go the other direction. That's literally what we got going on right now with Dollar. Um, so I can understand why um, Nasdaq is going up right now. If you guys, if you, any of you guys are new to my channel, I need all of you guys to do me one huge favor. Like the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. How much money do you need in order to trade NASDAQ? Uh, that honestly depends on a number of things. It depends on the spreads of the broker and um really the leverage but if typically speaking like if you're using hanko trade or something like that you can honestly start with a couple hundred dollars i would say realistically five hundred dollars because you know you got more money to play with but now they got many lots with a lot of brokers so you can uh trade with any broker at this point when it comes to trading asset yo what's going on good morning good morning um my thoughts on gold as i mentioned earlier um it's it's Actually, we got news coming in about 10 minutes. So I would honestly say we just got to be patient. If we take out this high within that time frame, that would be kind of kind of dope. But other than that, we've been doing nothing but running it up. I'm I would love to see personally. I feel like we have divergence. Let's see. Yeah, we got mm, a little divergence going on, but not interesting. But I will realistically would like to see dollar drop or if dollars dropping, I would realistically like to see. When news come on, dollar head up, and then we can see that drop, and then possibly up. Is the deposit bonus worth it? I would say any deposit bonus is worth it, man. Don't matter if it's with Hango Trade or any other broker. Any any deposit bonus could definitely be worth it. It's like it's like um working capital in a way, you know. Realistically, that's what it is. I don't know what that is. Hey, man, oil is holding up pretty darn well in this area. A little surprising on this one. I was thinking we was going to get more aggressive, but it's cool because then it makes sense. And the reason why we're getting so much consolidation is two things. We are in our settlement, which is like I say, every settlement is literally like what I want to say. Um, it's literally like a magnet. And then within that, we also see that we're consolidating, which definitely tells me that the buyers are trying to hopefully take take over the market and get into the market. If... Uh, if the bears decide to be weak in the market. I'm a beginning. I avoid news drops. Is that bad? Absolutely not. If that's your rule, stick to your rule. I will always say stick to your rule no matter what. Can I trade oil with a hundred dollar account? Uh, no, nah, not really. That's that's tough. That's real tough. That's real tough. I should actually see oil drop dropping but i will wait for a 30 minute closure so guys um my bot it just printed out a uh, signal i think not too long ago at 8 30 i don't know if that's too late if for your usd uh the solo bot printed out a possible sell I, I just wanted to tap in there for two seconds to see if realistically there's a sell see i don't really see that uh let's see 8 30 Yeah, it was right here. I don't see a sell yet with it. Um, if anything, it's going to go up. 
Yeah, I don't see a sale with that. And I don't trade. Honestly, guys, I do not trade. Um, I don't trade any major forex pairs anymore. I realize I make more uh, money with uh, commodities, and it's just better in my opinion. It moves a lot faster. As a scalper, I like to tend to get in and get out. I want to know if I'm going to make my money now or lose my money now. I can't wait no five days, no no uh, week, two weeks out in order for me to know I lost a thousand or made a thousand. You know? Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. So, so we got news coming at uh, in about eight minutes. We got yeah, we got a lot of uh, a lot of power moves going on about in about that's gonna happen in about eight minutes. I never had traded NSD Chief. I never in my life traded that pair, so I I, I couldn't even tell you. Wow, did Nasdaq pull back? Ah, sheesh. We did get a pullback, guys, but. All right, this could be the setup right here. It's kind of, we got to be cautious though, man, because um, we got news, guys. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to take this trade. And then two, this, I need a, <laughs> I'm not going to do this, guys. This right here, we got to engulf that. I'm not going to do it. This is risk is risky. I'm going to tell you right now, this is, it's probably going to play up and then boom. I'm not doing it though. It, I swear it looks so promising, but E, I can't do that. I can't do that to myself. Go was nice today. News will probably screw up. Yeah, exactly, Mike. I feel like news will probably screw up the whole... Uh, uh, like if everyone has or if everyone has orders thing my music is loud i can't even hear myself if everyone have orders pending now or or limit orders pending now um it could possibly take those take you know take the sellers order buyers out so yeah we shall see yeah, it's very risky. It's very risky. I'm going to wait. Honestly, I'm going to wait. If anything, I'm just waiting on this oil, man. Uh, Like I said, I'm still waiting on oil to see if we want to take out these highs. I feel like oil might want to do the same thing. Wait until four more minutes. The momentum was great with uh, gold, but it just spiked. It spiked like it was NASDAQ or something. Like me personally, I, if... If you guys really want to trade this, man, I would say, like I said, wait until the news. Wait until the news. All right, so we have... I'm going to put in notes so I remind myself what we're looking for. Around 70.09 for possible buys. Yen pairs are swing trading. You <laughs> you get in, then hold. Absolutely, man. I feel like you got to be more of an entry day trader, a swing trader to trade forex. In my opinion, now that's just my opinion. At least for at least th it wasn't like that when I first got into trading. At least not what I uh, realistically was seeing in the market. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I just find it more convenient for me to trade more like commodities or indices because they're more volatile throughout the day. You said stop skipping. What was your question? Can you trade NAS with hundred dollars? I already asked that. Uh, answered that to a couple of people. Someone asked that same question with oil, I think. But even with Nasdaq, um, like I said, you personally, I would have more money 
than a hundred dollars. But there's a lot of brokers where you can actually trade uh, with a smaller account. You know, it just depends on your leverage, depends on their spreads, all of that stuff. All right, guys, let's see what we about to get in uh, about. I'm gonna be paying attention to dollar. Let's see what we can get. Oh, dollar looks so weird right now. It went up, straight down, straight up and straight down. We got two more minutes until news hit. So I got, I know I ask this a lot, but I always just want to know where everyone's at because I feel like everyone, um, everyone's uh, questions change or answers to the question that I'm about to say changes all the time. What is your favorite pair and why? What is your favorite pair and why? So if your favorite pair is gold, you got to literally tell me why this is your favorite pair. God is my friend. That's that because it's too smooth. News in one more minute. Actually, in like 10 seconds. V75. What's going on, Sway? Where you been at, brother? Let's see the news. Oil and gold. NASDAQ, big money, indices. NASDAQ, NASDAQ. Mm, I feel y'all. All right. We are, uh, I feel like this man playing the same. We actually waiting on the news to report, um, and we don't see anything happening right now. So I'm waiting on the news to actually give me the actual results. I want to know if we did good or not. But I see we dropping. Oh my God. What is going on? Yeah, oil. Okay, guys, look at it. We about to. Yeah, we getting up there. Uh, go. We're still going up. I don't see it coming back down anytime soon. Oil. We finally took the highs out. Okay. Wow, this is actually nice. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see if we can take out these highs, man. Let's see if we can take out these highs. Yeah, gold is like, if you wasn't in the train, you might as well just forget it. You gone. It's gone. It's not coming back. But, oh. Look at that. We did take out the hour, one hour high, though, like I said earlier, guys. We did take out the one hour high. Notice how, notice how, once the market tapped in my PL, potential new low zone, if you look, this was the high at the time, this was the high at the time, this was the high, this was the high. We never took the highs out until now. So, that being said, that's another confluence you guys add to your bundle so now seeing that we're officially taking out the highs i gotta wait on a one hour closure to see if it's actually going to be in that golfing breakout or if it's just going to be a wick but if we can continue to stay strong outside of this uh high or within that high yep guys we should be going up from here so that being said we should be getting a uh bigger pullback and then up we go right we're not just gonna see it go straight up obviously it's not really not it's not necessarily like nasdaq but we shall see if we i mean we got a whole literally a whole hour left to determine what's going to be happening for this right here we could still get a wick and then it could be something different so we will wait and see dollars dropping 
Uh, man, we not we're. Hmm. Oyo is not giving me anything right now. This is your first time on a live stream and you like it. Well, first and foremost, I appreciate you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't, make sure you like the video. But I appreciate you for tuning in. It's got no chill today. Yeah, go going for sure. I know, like, it's, it, it just took off. It's like, if you trade breakouts, see, this is what I'm saying. Every strategy works, guys. It's just about what strategy works for your um, persona in trading. Right, you can be a breakout trader, right? And a breakout trader, you literally just made your money with Nasdaq and gold. For sure, gold. You know, if you got another strategy where, because sometimes breakouts don't always work. Let's just say you traded a breakout. Realistically, here, right? You had this high, and you and you tried to break, and you was like, all right, I'm gonna buy it. To, I'm gonna take my TP here, but you realize it never came to it. I'm saying it doesn't matter. Every strategy works, man. It's just about what strategy works for you and stick into that strategy and stop trying to do this strategy, do that strategy, do this strategy, do this strategy. And then you get mad at either your mentor or you get mad at someone else or you even get mad at yourself and you say, man, I can't trade. That's because you're all over the place. You don't have a physical system without a physical system. How the hell you think you're going to achieve anything in life? You know what I'm saying? It's just like you having a business plan. You got 20 to 5 million different things going on, but you can't figure out exactly what the whole strategy or the whole concept of your business is what makes you think that your business is going to succeed it's kind of like you do like me personally i do a lot but i'm known for something right so it's kind of like you got to find your sauce once you find your sauce you perfect your sauce and you keep you just keep keep stirring the pot keep stirring the pot keep stirring the pot and you just keep feeding it because you know everybody likes it you still uh, <laughs> i feel you you said you still got a brand overload and um yeah you waiting on a boot camp yeah 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 don't worry just i want you to forget everything uh when we do the boot camp it's gonna be something dope Oh, unload. I'm, oh, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I thought it said overload for a second. All right, guys. So, um, if this happens, it happens. If we can catch a pullback with NASDAQ, then it's an opportunity for sure. If not, then it is what it is. But um, we shall see, guys. Oyo is creating a liquidity phase on a one minute. Yeah, I seen that. Ha, I seen that, man. I, and I kind of don't like that. Cause now it's about to. Now I gotta change my bias again. We for sure got equal highs, equal lows. I'd rather see a. I was looking at on a higher scale. We don't have any. So here's the thing. All right, let, let's start on the four hours so y'all can understand how I'm looking at this. So on a four hour scale. Literally, we've been doing nothing but dropping. Well, as far as I'm looking at a higher scale, as far as what's going on more in the moment, we're doing nothing but going up, right? We, we broke structure here, broke structure here. We're doing nothing but going up. Now, that being said, going on a daily scale, you see now we're consolidating, right? We're in this originally it wasn't like this now i gotta change my uh, lines you guys always have to make sure you adjust with the market the market adjusts every second you have to also adjust stop stop sticking to just this trend line that you had you know sometimes you gotta adjust accordingly but if you guys pay close attention we have a uh we got a lot going on right now with um oil we are in this big uh consolidation for sure so it's kind of undecision going on in a higher scale, but that's all good because we do know that there is undecision on a higher scale, but we do know internal there's ranges that we can fall suit with. And that being said, right now, if you guys pay close attention to what we got going on with our five minute structure, what have we been doing? Nothing but going up, right? So since we have been going up, going up, going up, 
I'm just sticking with that, right? If I was wrong or if I'm wrong, that's fine. That's why we got this compounding strategy where we stick with a one on one. We move our stop losses to break even once TP1 hits. You know, we take it to TP2 if we decide it goes further. But I always like to take my TPs to a high. First TP always have to be at a at the most recent high because it can always go the other direction. Every high is like a magnet. Why is that? Because institutionals, banks, they all know there's money resting at every high and every low. They know that. They create it purposely. They create this fake pool of money purposely so everyone can put real money in there. And then when the banks and the institutionals come back to that pool that they created, they're like, ha, ha, ha. We got you guys. We trap you guys inside. We're going to come and take that pool and take all your and, and just sweep up all of your money and, and move on to the next section. And that's exactly what market does every second. So me tapping into gold or oil, knowing that we already seen that we got a liquidity phase here, we might possibly have the same reaction here. So if we look at that high, we will see a high be tap, tapping out soon as it is now. And then we should see it drop back down again to another POI level, which could be this one right here. And then up, up we go, potentially. So at this given moment, if oil isn't moving right now as it should be moving, that tells me possibly we're not going to really see no reaction today. Maybe later down the road during a New York session only. But as, as of right now, I'm not really seeing anything. Now, if oil... Um, if oil decides to drop first and then go up, I'm I, it's nothing but indecision in my eyes. And the reason why I'm saying that is because originally we went up first to drop, which means we should be going up. But if we go down first to then go up, we might drop. And it, it's that's to say that's going to be indecision. It's going to be indecision going on. Hopefully, I ain't confusing anybody. If you're new to my channel, don't worry about it. Just make sure you subscribe because, like I said, guys, if you're not subscribed. You're, you're not understanding anything I'm saying right now, and it's all good. But subscribe to my YouTube channel because we do go more in depth. Also, guys, um, today is the last day to sign up for our master boot camp. We literally have a few more spots available. We are really close to fulfilling all of our seats for our master boot camp. So for everybody that had already paid, once again, I applaud y'all because you guys are investing into learning, right? And I say this all the time, man, the biggest thing that you guys can achieve in life is to invest in knowledge and, and get more knowledge to be successful in, as far as whatever field it is that you're trying to study or learn. But if you guys are interested, all that information link is literally in the bio. You guys want to tap into that and get in tune with that. Um, Nas looks good for what, though? What is Nasdaq looking good for in your eyes? Is oil going up? Don't say oil going up and it's not going up. All right, oil is going up. Thank you. <laughs> I usually get so many people in my uh, chat chat room to say, oh, it's moving, but it didn't really move. It's just still in the same spot. Yeah, we're finally moving now. My only biggest hiccup, though, is this right here. We got equal lows. I know they want that first before they just go up, but it could just go. Let's see, man. We're going to see. What's good, uh, pocket? Pocketing pips. What's good, brother? Same to you, brother. You got to be quick with it. With what? Oil? Nah, oil, you ain't got to be quick with NASDAQ. If you're talking about NASDAQ, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Oil, you ain't got to be quick. That's why I like oil, because it will give you opportunity. NASDAQ, you one in a lifetime. It's I call it a one-hit wonder. You got to be in it at the right time. Otherwise, you ain't catching it at all. But uh, let's talk about let's talk about it, though. Let's talk about NASDAQ. So I'm going to be I'm going to be real honest with y'all. I'm kind of nervous in getting the Nasdaq because this has just been too choppy because I'm looking at dollar. Dollar, I need to see direction with dollar in order for me to be like, all right, guys, this is what's going to be, ha this is what's going to happen with um, Nasdaq. But honestly, I'm not really seeing that. Let me go to VTI. 
I used to always look at v VTI to kind of get my uh, answer. But I see VTI has been choppy too. Wow, it's actually been really ugly lately. You said NASDAQ, NAS train. It's like a uh, bullet train. <laughs> facts, 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 facts. No, that's a fact. Um, what is VTI? VTI is all Vanguard, all tech, like all tech. I think it's a thousand tech shares in in it. So if you guys didn't know, Nasdaq is a tech. Uh, it's a ETF or what? How can I say? It's like a basket full of tech companies, right? Like Facebook, Microsoft. Uh, IBM all of that right big companies. This, this is the basket of all tech So one thing I was told is if you focus on your big tech companies like Apple and I think Google or Microsoft It was Apple and Microsoft whatever direction Apple and Microsoft is going typically That's where Nasdaq will go because Apple and Microsoft holds a lot more um, have a lot more power for Nasdaq right for Nasdaq um and that's why if you just look at those two, you can kind of get your answer. If you see a better direction with the Apple stock or looking at Apple stocks or looking at Microsoft stocks, you can kind of get more of an accurate answer. What's going on with Nasdaq? Same thing with VTI. But um, I got to look at dollar, though, in order for me to know. As I'm saying, sometimes dollar will correlate with Nasdaq. I don't really like looking at dollar to determine um, Nasdaq to be honest with you. I like looking at dollar more for gold And that's kind of what I'm using it for right now But uh, what I was saying is I want to get in a gold trade Honestly, but I really want to see what my direction is with With dollar because I don't really see my direction right now with oil nothing but just power moves to the upside It's kind of like if you get in now. Yeah, you're gambling your money unless you got a real reason behind that, you know But personally uh, me, I'm, I'm not gonna do anything with gold until I see the direction with dollar and right now I don't see any direction with dollar but drop 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 right and then too as I'm looking at dollar I don't really see any uh, POI levels besides this one right here and that's not enough All right, guys, we finally getting a pullback. As as mentioned, we finally getting that pullback with U.S. oil. Like I said, let let's see it take out this low. I'm gonna put an alert so I can keep posted of this. Let's see it take out this low first, and then we're gonna wait for it to come into this extreme POI and see what happens from here. It could come further down to this level right here, as well. But it's in the same zone area, so I'm not really too worried about it at all. Um, but yeah, let's keep an eye on it, guys. Nas pullback. Like I said, I'm I'm trying to figure out Nasdaq. I can't really figure that out right now. It's not. It's just too choppy for me. It's too choppy for me. <laughs> what am I listening to? I don't know, but this joint kind of cold. Nasdaq may be a good one minute or 30 second scalping. Ooh, good luck with it. I can't do it. I'm good. I got to stick to I got to stick to my plan or forever hold my peace. <laughs> Once again, guys, everybody that is tapped in on my live stream, I need all you guys to do me one favor. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel. And hit the like button. Absolutely.
I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I haven't been. Uh, I haven't really been too consistent as I used to be with uh, my live streams. But I'm definitely going to be tapping back into that. You know, moving forward. Definitely going to be tapping into that moving forward. Look at. Uh, no, I'm not looking at that right now. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not going to be trading that. I'm a. I got to back test that before I trade Dex. Yep, that's what I say too. Consistency is key. Alright guys, hold on one second. Okay, cool. Um, right now my position calculator has been down for a minute. Uh honestly. Uh, I'm not really using any position calculator right now. I'm this is actually something I'm actually getting a whole new system made right now. It's crazy. It's kind of like, yo, we should be in a move right now for oil. That's what I'm saying, guys. I feel like at this point, at this point, um, we should honestly see the reversal within about 11 o'clock or so. I actually have a, uh, I have a, um, I do have a, uh, a uh how can i put it? i do have a, a risk calculator but it's in the excel sheet but it's not for every pair though that's what i'm saying nasdaq's way too choppy i'm not interested I am not. It's too much going on. I'm trying to figure out dollar. Dollar's so choppy right now. It's not even giving me no action either. To correct U.S. oil in a minute. When? Correct U.S. oil to add to my... Huh? Uh, you look what I still don't understand what I'm trying to say. Hey, yo, what is going on? Be cautious of U.S. oil, guys. I am waiting on it to take this low out first before I actually decide to say that. Hey, yo, yeah, we're going down. Uh, we do have news, but it's me. It's low news, honestly. It's nothing. Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing that's going to affect the market in my eyes. Oh, by the way, I'm just now looking at the actual facts of what the news had happened for the consumers convention, or uh, what was it? Was it a convention? Something, right? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, this makes sense. So the forecast they had was uh at it was at a uh, higher number and now it's lower. It's at 102.9. The uh, forecast was at 108.5. So yeah, that makes sense. On so dollars, just gonna be dropping from from here. I mean, I see we got the break of structure. We did pull into an extreme point. I just realized that we did pull into the extreme point, which is this right here, and then we drop. But that's not enough, man. That wasn't enough anyway. But yeah, we did drop. And now looking at a new range, we got this range from here to here. I need to see it uh, coming to any POI. I got to actually go on a smaller scale. See, I don't really see any settlements. 
So it's kind of hard for me to say exactly where um, dollar can pull back just by looking at the range right now. You say you got an oil, Nick? Dope, dope, dope. Why well, I stopped trading? Man, I stopped trading crypto a long, long time ago. Uh, it was, uh, sometime the beginning of last year. I don't even think the beginning of last year. I stopped two years ago. Just wasn't interested in trading uh, crypto anymore. Oh, yeah, we are going up. Sheesh. Hey, I did say it, but I guess we, I don't know if we're going to take these lows out. You know what's crazy? We had this market reaction here. Yeah, this one is just too weirded out for me right now. It's 63, would you say that is pretty good? That is really good, 63%, absolutely. That's really good. Do I trade synthetic indices? Yes, I do. If you're managing that, absolutely, that's really good. How often do I live stream? Well, moving forward, like I said, consistency is a big part now. Um, every day, except for Fridays. Yep, every day except for Fridays. Same time, so uh, not uh, I would either do uh eight around eight fifteen or nine fifteen. I know today I did eight thirty though, but eight fifteen or nine fifteen. Yeah, oil is booming right now. Oh, what I was about to say is I was gonna add this as my market share. I'm saying, I look at this more as a, uh, it's such a small liquidity phase, man. I get a little cautious with those little small liquidity phases. Do I live stream with synthetic? Nah, I don't. I don't. Nope, nope, nope. I feel like that was the move for, uh, I feel like that was the move for oil right there. This is more of a triple bottom. Yeah, we're going nothing but up with oil. It's booming. I had posted this earlier. This is what I seen oil supposed to do. Uh, which was take the highs out, which it did, then take the lows out and then head up. Wow. All of that opportunity. Chart Prime Dynamic Reactor was the money. Was the money for oil? I should have paid more attention. <laughs> yes, sir. Chart Chart Prime is one of the best, definitely uh uh pay indicators. I love it. Did I enter the break? I did not enter, man. I missed out on this. I was li literally waiting on it to tap this low, but now looking at it, it looks just more like a uh, how can I put it? It looks just more like a triple bottom. And also, what, around 3 a.m.? Where's 3 a.m. at? We look at this bigger ABC pattern. Uh, boom, boom, and then boom. We could honestly either create an equal high or we could go further up. I'm not sure yet. We shall see when we get to that high. Yeah, oil, uh, oil took off. I got to remove my nose on that one. That one took off.
guys by the way like i said um if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel already dope man you in a buy patience is necessary yes it is number one thing a lot of number one things in trading a lot of number one things to trading but num number one thing is sticking to your plan if you if you don't have this if you don't physically have this if i can if i can't get your step one or your step eight all the way to z and you can't give me step z all the way to a the exact same way you shouldn't even be touching the market right now at all at all Yeah, man, we we playing out very well right now. Well, oil, I just didn't get in it, missed out on it. Based off my rules, uh, didn't happen. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on a better. I'm gonna wait on a better entry. If it comes back down, even better. So one thing I gotta add to my play is making sure I wait on a candle to close. Oh yeah, man. I got out just in time. Not selling. Oh. That's that so so choppy. What is dollar doing? Oh, I see we about to it looks like we about to create divergence. Yep. We got divergence going on. Um anybody that trades divergence, you gotta really know how to trade it. You just can't just trade it because you see it. You gotta still wait on structure to break. You're just adding all you're doing is just adding your equations together. The more equations you get, gives you the same answer, the better chance you're going to make it uh, or you're going to win that trade. That's all it really is, guys. So right here is my high, right? i tell you right now, if this goes up, NASDAQ should actually now be dropping. Gold should be selling. And then boom, right? I don't ever play the guessing game because, oh, you know, we are too high up in the air. I always look at facts. Right, I know a lot of people be like, oh, I promise you it's going down. And a lot of people, a lot of traders, especially new traders, you know, they see it going down because there are 10 different indicators they're using. It's all aligning, which is fine. If that's facts, that's facts. But I look at facts. A lot of people just think it because they see it went all the way up and they're like, oh, it's going to sell off eventually. Yeah, but where's your facts? You got any facts to prove it? You got to have proof, physical proof. Why do you think it's selling? Not because you... Think that oh it's just going up but why is it selling not think that it's selling but why is it selling did it break structure did you get a uh, oversold with one then it broke structure with the other you know you gotta look at all of those different uh different reactions in the market so like right now we got about i'm gonna just say 30 minutes left on this one hour candle uh if we could see this one hour one hour candle is still strong bullish Expect upwards move, but before we go up, we got to go down first. I don't see any liquidity phase. Honestly, guys, I don't see any liquidity phase. So what I mean by that is I don't see it coming all the way down here and then um, tapping out until if, if, if within 30 minutes, this becomes a big wick, which could happen, right? Something like that. If this becomes a really big wick, then, and then this is where we get the liquidity phase and we got to be cautious. Other than that, I see a pull, a simple pullback and up we go. Why do I say that and why I feel confident that's because on a higher scale, like a four hour in a daily, we tapped into my bigger POI level or my potential new low, right? You look left. We got nothing but liquidity all in here. So I see nothing but going up for gold. And then if dollar plays out very well and start breaking structure too, which it looks like it wants to, we got liquidity phase on dollar guys, by the way. We got equal highs and equal lows. So I'm telling you right now, expect NASDAQ. To, I would say NASDAQ to should sell off, but mainly expect gold to sell off for sure. Uh, Break even for me today. Nothing crazy. How can I access the chart prime you talked about? So there's a link in my description. If you want access to that, just go ahead and sign up using the link in the description. It should be in the description. If it's not, um, I will send it over. 
All right, guys. So, like I said, that being said, we should see the drop with uh, <clears throat> potentially. I wouldn't be buying anything. We already went up and took off. We should be seeing a drop, possibly. But I'm not selling anything. I'm not going to counter trend trade until it breaks structure, until I get more uh, confluences build up for my story. And then I'll be like, boom, I'm in a sell. I'm in a sell. Otherwise, no sell. NASDAQ. Oh, I thought we was actually going to be selling, selling, but we're still in the big, this big zone consolidation. Nasdaq, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I see nothing but downwards move. If we look at this right here, this was the most recent structure that took the lows out right here, and we're just now getting a pullback off of this POI level, which is my extreme POI level. We got that engulfing off of three minute time frame. Two minute time frame. Eh, we didn't really get too much going on, but three minute time frame. I don't trade three minute time. I don't even know why I got three minute time frame on here. But as you guys see, we do have break of structure, which is right here. Market pulled back into our extreme POI level right here. And then now we should start seeing market drop, especially if dollars going to continue to go up. <clears throat> but we can't say that until we break structure. So let me go ahead and put this in. Oh, see, it's telling me. I hate when it does that. So if we take out the high, we're going to wait on a pull. And then we should see it go up, at least somewhere here for now. Oil, we're nothing but going up right now. We missed that opportunity. Go. Want to see it take the lows out first. We actually start, start, we should start seeing divergence, which we do have divergence, right? We got divergence, but we still need to take the lows out before we actually drop. Uh, you said and go you uh, <clears throat> So are we going up or down Go is getting a bit weak, I guess patience is key man Please use this link to signature request. So, hello, are you using imbalance? No, I, I honestly do not trade imbalance. I honestly do not trade imbalance. in a bit okay that boy jamming to elevator <laughs> oh that was that that just made me laugh for the day that was funny you said elevator music <laughs> dollar hold on yes sir we taking the highs out Hey, let's go. Let's go. Yes, yeah, it's, it's lo-fi music. That's why I laugh. He said elevator music. It's called lo-fi. All right. If we, uh, oh, there. Hold on, let me see something. If we going up right now, let's see what dollar's been doing on the one hour. Yeah, see, it gets really weird with dollar and looking at NASDAQ. Um, but going back to gold.
Yeah, like I said, guys, man, we're breaking the structure. I just lost to go, man. What happened? You sold it? Or did you, if you brought it, how did you lose? Where can you get the checklist sheet? What checklist sheet? Why don't I trade silver? I don't know. I just never tapped into it. Is it better than go? I know uh, we got our educational trader that trades silver faithfully. Just never got into it. Yes, sir. I am a musician. <clears throat> But back to your thing about silver. I'm going to actually back test silver this week, too, and see. That's what I'm saying. Last time when I got into silver, the spreads were crazy. I literally got it. Look, this is this is how I was with silver. I literally got into silver. Right. I had silver at about right here. I entered here, but it didn't say my actual entry was not up until here. So it was like 10 points, 10 points out. Crazy spreads. Uh, hold on, y'all. Let me send out a message. Alright, too comfortable with gold. It's literally a gold mine. Yeah, I've, I've been loving gold, man. I think I'm, I'm like I said, I'm gonna just stick with gold because I, I looked into silver and it's just not me. The spreads are just too much for me. So, is there anybody? Uh, I'm a. I'm a I gotta make this poll. Hold on. I got a question for all minds peoples. For all minds peoples, I got a uh, question for y'all. And before I uh, make this poll, give me one second. By the way, guys, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything that we uh, drop. All right, so I want to know, is there anybody here that back tests? Is there anybody here that back tests weekly or monthly? Is there anybody here that actually back tests weekly or monthly? I do on the weekend daily awesome monthly i'm back testing right now weekly daily sixty two percent of y'all say y'all back test i'm gonna be honest with y'all for the for the thirty seven percent that's 
that's or 36 is just kind of just going from but anywhere for the ones that said no the reason why you need to back test and and continuously back test and consistently 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 on a weekly basis monthly basis it's like practice it's like playing sports or it's like practicing to be surgeon doing this learning this constantly trying to perfect it it's the same with trading you got to perfect your skills mental skills and your physical skills back testing doesn't really give you the mental skills but it does if you do it correctly right if you treat it correctly yes otherwise it gives you the skills of market reaction how to adapt with it so you so you will know when you actually start trading live with live funds you will know like oh wait hold on i remember when i back test this this is the rule that i have created off of my trading plan let me stick to it boom the demo is your best friend only to learn the skills but i would say honestly the de a demo account is just as the same as back testing on trading view it's not going to teach you no real it's not going to really give you momentum like or or mental i will tell you guys this if you're if anybody here has a demo account and you're trying your best to treat it like a real account i promise you is not a hundred percent accurate I, I don't care what you guys say i don't care how well you treat it if you lose a trade you get mad if you win a trade you get excited but i promise you the moment you get a live account with real funds you're going to almost feel like the market is against you in reality it's not it's you against yourself literally a demo account is not going to give you your mental skill set it is not it's not so you really got to understand that it's all mental so you really want to stick to this is why i say guys you gotta blow you gotta blow money to make money seriously if you all you got is a hundred dollars do ten percent of whatever you have like let's say that after paying all your bills you got left like money for entertainment purposes money for entertainment purposes you use ten percent of that and you put that in a live account if you just now getting started you use ten percent of your entertainment purpose funds right or your entertainment funds use 10 percent of that put that into your forex account and you start trading live account takes your money fast exactly because like i said live when you physically have a live account it's a different ball game it's like that one little percent of you when you know you got a demo account and you hold that trade out longer it ain't gonna be the same in a live account it's that little one percent that will literally make a hundred percent of your account either make you or break you so as y'all see man we're finally going up and now i see that we're going to be taking these highs out all the way up here so i believe for the remaining week we should be seeing just depending on how strong dollar wants to be we should be going nothing but up And if you are broke, then having that, that's, that's the worst, bro. Just type in DXY. It's dollar. It's dollar. Uh, a lot of people still call it Dixie, DXY, dollar. I don't, you know, everybody got their own name okay okay you know what i like it i like it i see we getting that pullback okay making sense now cool this is what happens when patience i would have got in this i ain't even gonna lie i would the, the old me would have got in that for a buy but i'm still waiting man yes oil and nasdaq should be dropping now I mean, sorry. Yeah, oil, Nasdaq, and um, I don't really want to say oil, but really, gold and Nasdaq should be dropping right now. If we look at our fib play, uh, let me draw from here. If we look at our fibs. We see that we got this first TP right here. We see that we got, oh my God, that's perfect. I said it, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, hold on. This is like, 
I want a lifetime of seeing um, Nasdaq being very choppy. If Apple is dying, Nasdaq is dying. Still choppy though. So for oil, uh, UK oil and US oil, dang man, we don't really have no. Let's see if we got a settlement right here. Let's see how price settles in these areas right here. I would love for it to come up more. Honestly, realistically, now looking at it, if I want to sell this, I need it to come up here. This is a better, uh, way better stop loss for me. Because I can enter somewhere around here. Stop loss will be above this high. And then we can sell it off, get a nice little one-on-one -on -one somewhere here. And then we can sell it off all the way down to these levels down here. But we got to get it to come up there. That's That's the only way I can feel like that's a good position for me. It is possible for market to come up here too to this to this settlement or this settlement. I'm gonna add an alert just in case. The mental there is no mental state trading a different demo account. It's like it is what it is with that one percent. When that trade goes left, you're gonna be like, well, at least I ain't lose money. Even though you're not going to say it out loud, but I promise you, I promise you, once you put that a thousand dollars, especially if that's all you had, and a minute that trade goes left, you're going to be like, ah, I'm going to get out, I'm going to get out. Or this is also what happens. If that trade almost went left, right? If you had a demo account and that trade almost went left, you probably would still had to hold the trade out because you know you stick to the solo rule where I say just let it go all the way to your uh, stop loss. If you if you knew what you was already risking before, you should just let it go all the way to your stop loss, right? But if you had a demo account and you were in that trade and you just said, you know what, I'm gonna just let it ride to my stop loss. But let's say that it came close to your stop loss, but it didn't hit your stop loss, and then the trade went in your favor on a demo account. You probably would have just stuck to your original TPs. But the moment you had a live account and that happened, you would have been like, you know, what? I'm going to get out because it was too close to my uh, my stop loss. You know, I'm going to just get out right here. You see the difference? That little thing right there would literally F you up in a live account from a demo account. And that's why I tell everybody, don't trade a demo account because a demo account ain't going to teach you nothing but just the skills. And you can get that from trading and you can get that from backtesting. I'll tell everybody, invest $10 into the account. And start trading that and build that. That's how I grew my account. I, I, I know it's kind of cliche, but let's just be honest, guys. 90% of traders, there's, there's only 10% of successful traders, like overall traders, forex traders, stock traders, future, all of that, right? What I'm getting at is if 90%, if everyone's telling you to trade demo and that 90% is still 90%, obviously something ain't right. So what I'm trying to tell you guys to do instead of trading a fucking demo account for the, like the whole six months or a year, I used to say that until now I understand mental is key. Don't trade demo account. It's not going to teach you nothing but just skills. And if, if that's what you're getting the demo account for, cool. But I'm telling you, 20% is all skills in trading and 80% is mental. So you guys go from there and you figure out what you want to do. If you still want to trade demo account, you still think demo account is gonna make you a successful trader? It ain't. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, man, you gotta really sacrifice in this. You gotta. It's gonna take money to make money, and I mean, it's gonna take you to blow a couple of accounts in order for you to get it, unless you was already smart and you stuck to solos. If you created your rules before you created your live account, then you should be good. But like I said, you need this in order to handle this. Without this, you can't handle this. You're going to be all over the place. You're going to be like, well, I'm going to still trade. I still got an idea of what my strategy is. No, you need to write it down. I have somebody in our group. I don't know if he's in here, but I have somebody in our group. He literally sticky. He put sticky notes everywhere in his house, in his refrigerator. He had a sticky note. Do not over trade or over risk. 
And then in his bedroom door, do not overtread over risk. And then and then in his other room, do not overtread over risk. That's literally what I'm saying. You guys got to have that. You got to tell yourself that, right? Your conscious mind. You got to tell your conscious and subconscious mind, and conscious, unconscious mind that, dang, this is my rule. All right, bet. Like right now, I just told you guys my rule for this trade right now. I just gave you my rule for this trade. It has to come up here in order for me to sell it. If you guys see me take this sell right now, I just went against my rules. And that being said, if the trade goes left, I'm going to feel like, damn, I, I'll tweak or this and that, this and that. The reason why I created this rule is because it made sense to my trading plan that I have. And that's what I'm talking about. You guys got to make sure you follow every time. It, it's hard. It still happens for me all the time. But the more you can be consistent with following your rules, the more you can see wins. Patience pays off as well as you being consistent with your rules pays off. And then risk management pays off. I'm going to say this again. The reason why I am looking for market to come to up this level up here is because I have more of a better chance of knowing that my stop loss won't hit because we already came to my extreme point. This is a midpoint for me. I'm already in 30 seconds, so it's very small, very tight. So I would rather catch an extreme in order for me to sell it because I know I can put my stops up here rather than if I take a sell here. There's still a high chance that we can come to this liquidity right here and then tap down. So if it does not come down here, it is what it is. I got another opportunity once market comes into this area in my gray box, which is another POI level. Do I ever trade NASDAQ mini version? Yes, I do. Uh, different brokers have that. Offspring, I, I mean, Hango Trade does and Offspring does. So as you guys see, 30 second play right here. We took the lows out. Oh, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Uh, short. Oh, that's a perfect one on one right there. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. I almost want to catch a double top, though. If I can get a double top on a on a 30 second just to get a little tighter entry, maybe I can adjust my stop a little bit more. I'm going to sell it, y'all. I'm about to show you guys a 30 second game. Nothing changes all the same. I just hope it doesn't be an engulfing candle all the way down here. It's going to throw me off. Uh, you said dollar. So dollar took out the highs already. My only my only problem is this pullback that I'm seeing right now. But if we go into five minutes, we took the highs out already right here. Right. And like I said, the long, long, long term picture is we're going to come tap into this right here. Well, let me. Uh, hold on. Let me bring that down and then boom. But if you look here, we got a midpoint here. I would rather see this hit more. That's kind of what makes me skeptical about gold right now. Not where I want to enter at the very moment. I would love for it to come more up to here. Gives me way better entry. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to wait for market to tap more up here because this is more of my extreme. I got a better one to one position. Shoot, maybe my one to one could be right here. Just about from this low, which is even better. That's the most recent low. And then one or two could be right here, which rests eh, somewhere around here. Well, 
Once again, guys, if y'all are new to my channel, I need everybody to do me one huge favor. Like the video. I need everybody here to make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I need everyone here to make sure you subscribe. I need everybody here to stop for two seconds. Let's all go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Um, make sure you subscribe, man. One and two, done. Boop. Let's go. Anybody got an Instagram? You can follow me on Instagram, the real solo e. That is my only Instagram, the real solo e. Right on the top, left, right hand side, as you see on my screen, the real solo e. And if you have a Twitter, you can follow me, UPM solo e as well. No, I'm not in go yet. I'm waiting on it to come more to my extreme, and then I'm going to enter. Wow, I cannot s what the heck? So, uh, there we go. Okay, okay, what is Dollar doing? Um, Go short or long. Uh, I'm going to be short and gold in a bit. Possibly. It, my only hiccup right now is that this is what's throwing me off. Like, we are we are at this high right here. And looking at gold right now, we could still be going up a little bit. So, I, I don't know yet. It's not, it's, not, it's not time right now. It's not time right now. It is not time right now because like i said we are at this new high right here with the uh, dollar I'm going to have a better answer once I know the internal low is formed off this range. Like right now, it's trying to create an internal low. If we can break through this internal low, uh, that's super tight, man. I don't really like that one, but this is the accurate one, though. If we can break through this low, then I would rather wait for that pull. Hopefully, it can come to a midpoint, and then we should see up words move with dollar after it drops, which means gold is still going to, excuse me, gold is exactly what it's doing right now. This is why uh, I was saying earlier you gotta be you gotta be cautious with gold or with uh, yeah with gold. Let me remove that before some of y'all think that oh I'm in a trade right now. So we still waiting on um, dollar because like I said, man, you gotta. This is why you gotta pay attention to dollar sometimes. That's why you gotta pay attention to dollar. We tapped into the high, which I tell you guys. Market is going to do one or two things every time it reaches a high. It's either going to build up liquidity, which makes it a double top, which where this strategy works. Anybody that trades support and resistance, your strategy just worked perfectly at this time. Or 
is going to take out the high, which for my breakout traders and traders just breakouts or stop hunts. That's what it is. So dollars dropping and we're looking at, um, well, actually, hold on. Do we have divergence going on? We do. So now seeing that, uh, we could be doing something like this where we take out these highs and then we should see the drop. Oh, wow. Oil took the lows out. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, it didn't. I thought it took the lows out. Actually, I thought it took this low out. It's, our, it's coming to our extreme. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I see it created equal lows down here, too. I don't see why they won't want to take that out, too. Yes, sir, guys. We just took the lows out for dollar, which confirms that this is my extreme. I got two extremes here to here. I mean, my range is sorry. That is my range, and that is my range. Peripheral, take a buy on gold market makers want to take out all the sellers. Go ahead, yeah, get in it. If you if that's your setup, go ahead, definitely get in it. We are taking the liquidity highs for sure. All right, guys. So, I might, I actually might feel comfortable in this. Uh, oh, look at that engulfing candle on the five minute. Damn, we're gonna need more reaction on the five minute in order for me to say sell. Then now, now that I'm looking at this, ah oh, man, we are in too much. Cons oh, my gosh, we are in a big consolidation right now, guys. If dollar drops where oil fly, I don't really look at core. I don't correlate. I never actually correlated dollar with oil, to be honest with you. Does dollar affect oil like Nasdaq? Uh, like I said, I, I I haven't really analyzed analyzed that to tell you guys that. It would be nice if this was liquidity. 
phase, I would have definitely been all in for this. I don't really see that though. Only reason why we're going up with gold is because we're coming to these POI levels, like I mentioned earlier, guys. We're finally getting that pullback because of what's been happening with the bigger play of action. If anybody that's new is just now getting in, I mentioned dollar is going to do this liquidity phase where it takes the lows. It took the lows out first. Now we got to see it take the highs out. But we just actually now seen the break of structure market shift right here. And... Um, now we're getting that pullback into some of these POI levels, which could either be here or here. But yes, we are getting that pullback. Point of interest. I just abbreviated. It's point of interest is the same as a supply demand key level, institutional level, order blocks, all of that. I just call it. I just keep it simple. I don't want to. It's all the same ish. No problem. No problem. That would be really risky if you would sell gold right now. I I would that would be extremely risky if you were to sell gold right now. Unless you know unless you got a reason on that. I I know for me personally it ain't there. And you know what's crazy guys? Earlier doing my trading when I started live, like how we took that four grand to 40K, I realized that I was really tapped in dollar during that time when I did that account grow. And then I stopped, I got a little cocky and I stopped paying attention to the dollar as much as I should have. And this is why I like paying attention to the dollar because I feel like blindly, if I wasn't paying attention to the dollar, I probably would have had did something with go right about now. But knowing that I got dollar to back me up, I'm set. Let me move this up real, set, real fast. Knowing that I got dollar to back me up, I'm set. I don't know if anybody's been here from day one, like day one when we started our live streams, but um, yeah, you guys seen the account that I took, right? I honestly just withdraw everything because I'm starting a new account growth. I was supposed to start this month, but I didn't like how this month was really moving for me, so I'm starting tomorrow. I didn't want to say anything because I feel like every time I say something, I really do and don't apply it. But um, what I'm basically getting at is that uh. I realized when I did my account grow from four grand to forty grand, really it's at five fifty grand. I got it fifty grand. I realized I was really tapped in with dollar, and uh, the moment I stopped really focusing on dollar and just really paying attention to just go to self and this itself, I started to really. I noticed that I was kind of losing out on a lot more trades than what I was supposed to when I first started. So. Um, you know, that being said, yeah, this is why I like looking at dollar because it really gives me a true bias of the overall market as a lot of pairs that I do trade, it reacts off a of dollar. all right guys so look we about to start getting the we just tapped into our poi level oh whoa whoa whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on with oil let me keep my eye on i don't know it's not really doing much man we got a lot to play i gotta stay on the five minute for this one All right, guys, if dollar can remain strong right now for this, gold can definitely be, gold can definitely drop. Uh, just, just for me and my setup, I need to see the structure form. I need to see the structure break, structure form, or structure form and then break, and then I'll know what's up. Oh, Nasdaq? I have, no, I'm not doing anything with Nasdaq. Still too choppy. Um, I would stay on the five minute with Nasdaq though. If I see anything, it'll be five minute time frame. I 
Guys, so I'm very surprised. 44% of you do not backtest. That goes to show why 90% of traders fail in trading. Goodness gracious. Oh, it is. It is. It definitely is. Ah, oh, man. This is. Uh. Can I get a one on one here? Uh, I can't even get a one on one. Honestly, it's too late for this one. It's too. This is a big candle for me. That would have been my one on one. It's too. It's too big, man. So that's why I say I hate when it consolidates, but it. I'm going to just wait for it to come here, honestly. I was hoping to catch that, but that's too big. That candle is way too big. Wait for 12. Yeah, <laughs> Jason, you know what's up. Wait for, I uh, really wait for 11. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, it is 11, yeah. But it's been consolidating already, so, uh, yeah, just wait, guys. I'm telling you, that candle, that's why I didn't get in there, man. I'm, I, it's something about that candle. What is Dollar doing? Dollar, down. Uh, I don't know if you're still in here, Mikes. Hey, Mikes, if you're still in here, or for anybody that never really wants to wait on a closure of a candle this is why you should always wait on a closure of a candle one moment this candle was close to being bullish engulfing this candle and as you see look we got almost like a spending top here this is why you should always wait patience is key you just wait on a closure of a candle and never just enter in it you said all your hold or close man at this point you should have already had your decision before if you got in it. <laughs> yeah, I see. I get it now. <laughs> I'm just teasing with you, man. You was the only one that actually said something. I know there's a lot more other people in here that, that that's the same. But you was the only one that spoke on it. So I'm just, I'm just using you. Man, I'm still shocked about y'all. 44% of y'all don't backtest. I got a question, though. For the for the ones that do not backtest, who are y'all? Please, let me just type in, press in a fire emoji if it, if you do backtest. And if you don't backtest, press 1. I just, I'm just going to start picking with y'all. Because I'm curious to know why y'all don't backtest. You, oh, man, there's so many ways to backtest. Wow. We, so, fire emojis for the ones that back test. Ones is for the ones that don't back test. You don't need the premium version to back test. I don't think we're trading view. All right, all right. I got another question for everybody that pressed one. Do you guys at least trade with a demo account? If you do, drop a two. For everyone that pressed one, do you at least trade with a demo account? Drop, drop a two. That's crazy. So I only seen so far about four people. <laughs> 1.5. I literally see about four people. So that proves to be you guys need to back test with either a uh, uh, back test software. I, I am going to be showing you guys a back test software that I use besides TradingView. It's called Forex Tester 5. It's probably one of the best back tests because you can actually set yourself up mentally. It's like if you trade in a live account, it's really dope. I'm going to show you guys how to, I'm going to do a video on that too. Um, but man, that's crazy. And for the ones that trade demo, do you guys actually trade demo to think that you're? I hope, well, let me just say this I don't want you guys to trade a demo thinking that the demo is going to make you successful. If you guys flipped a demo account, 
it's not going to be the same if you want to do a real account. If you flip multiple demo accounts, it's still not going to be the same. If you guys try a demo account with a plan, you can definitely believe it will be the same with a live account. The title of this song, honestly, I'm not sure. It's called Hot Shot by Norman. Real money brings pressure. Exactly. Exactly. I have no bias for NASDAQ besides consolidation, and I'm not taking any trades because it's already 10 o'clock. It's kind of like ain't nothing. If something was to happen, it should already have happened. Only thing I'm looking for right now is gold. Oil is still consolidating. And then I'm looking at uh, gold right now. Like I said, for me, I'm looking on structure to form, which it just did right now. But dollar is still playing with emotions for anybody that's saying uh, dollar or trade dollar. Maybe do a stream about backtesting. I was going to do a video about backtesting. But I could definitely do a stream about it, too. I will. Actually, I definitely will. I think that's fire, too. Matter of fact, hold on. Do, do you not use trend lines? I do. I don't use it as a trend line, though. Do I have a video where maybe we start trading Forex? I do, um, but it's not as death. So what are we back testing looking for? Um, this, I'm just I'm just speaking in general why back testing is so important. Seriously, you gotta back test, man. If you don't back test, yeah, just quit trading. <laughs> it's like saying that you're going to. Uh, you like you like Ella Iverson. You always showing up to the games, but never showing up to practice. Like you gotta show up. You gotta show up to practice, man. And that's how. How else are you gonna get better? Especially if y'all know y'all always losing out on the money, and you have not back tested. It's like, what the heck is you doing? Save yourself time and money. Right, back test. Like I said, I use I use uh trading view to back test and I use another platform called Forex Tester. Literally why I like using Forex testers is because it's like MT4. It's like an MT4. It, it gives you an MT4, MT5 platform. It's literally like the same platform. But you can back test like if you have money in there. It's 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 so cool. It's like if it's a real account. I like to use TradingView because it's more user friendly and it's easier to use and adapt. But if I really want to make sure, like, hold on, does this strategy actually work? What I just back test on TradingView, or does my plan actually works? Then I will go to uh, Forex Tester. Say, yeah, it's different, dude. We're Friday night before and drop 40. Yes, sir. <laughs> As I see, oil's going. I mean, oil. Gold is going up. What is oil doing, actually? I see we're just getting wicks. I'm interested to see what this does, man. But this is my most recent low, and I don't like that. I would love for it to come more up here. And then give me like a like a power candle here, and then I sell it. You said bearish or bullish on dollar. Um, right now, right now it is bearish, but it's gonna be bullish because uh, we broke this structure 
we did create this equal high but we took this low out and we're going to be taking the highs out because of the liquidity phase that i talk about ha 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 and that is funny why well, is everything on it moving unusual nothing's moving unusual it's the same Yo, for the ones that got in that cell on gold, I hope y'all got out. Or have your stop loss actually set. You know, I don't understand your I don't understand your language. I don't understand what you're saying, brother. Do you think you'll get a setup this morning? You mean uh well this morning it might be different for you. Um um, I, you could possibly get a setup later down the road. Well, I'm, I'm, I was like I said, I gotta see what Dollar's doing. Dollar's the one that's doing up and down, up and down. That's why this is so under. It's that's why gold is choppy right now. Once again, guys, like I said, today is our last day to sign up for our boot camp. We are getting, if you guys are interested in our boot camp, make sure you check the link in the description and sign up for that. Ah, jeez. Um, we're going to be going pretty insane with that and uh, and everything like that. Actually, um, I'm also going to be doing a funded account, too, for the boot camp. And we will see if we pass or not. Yes, sir. Get them lights up. And also, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys. Everybody that is tapped in, if you had not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And a uh, World Cup thing solo. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, look at that. We're going right back up, man. How much? When is it for free? No, the boot camp is not free. Just go in the link in the description. You'll get every details. You actually, when you sign up for the this uh, the boot camp, you get access to all of our courses in three months of uh, VIP. Oh, trading World Cup basically. I I I didn't know they do that. Actually, I did know they do that. I didn't know. I don't know nothing about like when it is, where it's at. Send me that link. I'm interested to know. I'm trying to teach you guys to stop playing a hoping game of trading and play the uh, factual game of trading. Two different things. The hoping game is you see dollar going. Let's just say gold since gold is going up. Your hoping game is you see gold going up, you you have divergence, but you don't have actual facts of that it actually is going down. You need facts, not hope. <laughs> Two different things. And in order for you to get facts, you need to build up confluence. This is why I always say don't always stick to indicators because indicators goes off of market reaction, which is something you guys should actually learn. And then once you master that, then you can have indicators to give you more of a confluence, right? More facts. Once you have all and everything, your whole entire list, the more you get to add up to the same equation, best believe that's going to be the right answer. Just don't trade blindly. And I always teach this. It's something that I teach and will be teaching in my boot camp too. 
where I say never trade blindly. If you guys know anything about double tops, don't just trade it because you see a double top. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm about to teach you guys how to stop being 50-50 and be more 60, 40, or 70, 30, or whatever it is, right? And that's by simply adding confluences together. Wait on the break of structure. Wait on it come into a, a, a liquidity phase or a liquidity zone or supply demand zone or this and that. And all supply demand zones and settlements. Supply demand zones, order blocks is all settlements. That's what price settled in a market. That's what I teach. I don't teach you um, a supply demand strategy or how to only trade supply demand. I don't even talk about supply demand. I talk about settlement, which is the basic. So once you learn that, if you ever come across a new theory or a new strategy that's going to come probably like three, four years from now, something going to be called the ABC pattern. No. Something be called the card strategy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tell you, bro, if you if you followed me from my boot camps or follow me from my courses or my teaching, you will know that's just a settlement. So a lot of you guys will say, I'm going to just prove to you guys what I mean. Right here, a lot of you guys will say this might be your demand zone. Uh, some other cats might come in the market and be like, that's not demand, that's support. Okay. Some other cats might come and be like, that's an institutional level. Okay. Some other cats might say, this is a major key level. It's all the same-ish. You might have specific cats that only know supply demand because they master only supply demand and they only think that's it. They will say, well, theoretically, that's not it. This is it because this that high candle there. That's the low candle that needs to be higher than that. What? No, it's the same ish, guys. I'm trying to tell you that right there is what we call liquidity. Money's being rested. Settlement. That's what price settled. That's like if I'm driving to your location to buy something from you, we made a transaction. We settled. I, I went. I came from A. And I went to B and then I stopped at B to make an exchange. Right when I made that exchange, I gave you dollars for my items. I went right back. That right there is what we call a settlement. So that being said, if it had worked one time, then it's going to work again, which means that's why market moves always to an order block or it moves always to a supply demand level because it was settled there, which means that people seen it there before. And we all are humans. As humans, we all are programmed to see when somebody else do it, somebody else is going to do it, somebody else is going to do it, somebody else is going to do it. It's just like business. When they see somebody business is achieving, like McDonald's. When McDonald's took off, Burger King took off. You want to know why Burger King took off? Because they seen McDonald's was winning, so they want to go ahead and create burgers now. Now you got Wendy's. Now you got Arby. Now you got this. Now you got that. Now you got that. So it's the same exact thing in market. When you look at market, when you see price settle, it's just realistically, it's just human nature. That's where you see price can come back to. It's like a magnet. That's why I say order. That's why I call it POI levels. Because all that shit is the same stuff. So I just want y'all to understand that I don't teach only supply. I don't teach. I don't even teach the ICT method because I don't believe in teaching that when it's free 99 on the web, which is really good. I don't teach nothing all smart money concept. I don't teach all LA wave. I don't I teach the basics. I literally tell you guys, look. Exactly what I had said, that's what it is, and follow that, and then boom. And if you come across any other strategy or you come across any other uh, <laughs> trader that is stuck on their ways with supply, demand, or order blocks, and they think that's the only way to win, and there's no other way, you can just look at them and laugh the whole time because you'll be like, man, that's a settlement. And they're going to tell you, no, it's not. It's an order block. And I'm going to be like, what is an order block? And they would be like, well, it's weird. And golf and candle, okay, that's a settlement. You know what I'm saying? So I just want you all to understand, man. You can make trading simple or you can make this ish hard. It's up to how y'all want to do it, how y'all want to go about it. I do everything to make this simple. Don't buy and sell all that. Just play demo. All right, so uh, man, we should we should have been moving already. We should be moving already. We too, this is not moving. I don't even see nothing going on right now with oil. I'm sorry, brother. I don't. If you're talking to me, I don't babysit accounts. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your account if you got in something. I only tell myself what I'm going to do if I got in something. I don't know if you're talking to me, you're talking to somebody else, but I do not babysit nobody account. Yeah, Oya would have definitely had his stop loss. That's why I said we got to wait because something about it was off. And that's what I was saying earlier. Um, we had this low right here. It's golfing candle, but we was too close to this. 
I would rather see it come up more. And then not even that, not even that. Um, at this time around, we are, we just been ch consolidating. We should be moving. See, we still waiting on Dollar to show us. Uh, and I think Dollar's not going to do too much because of the time it is now and all like that, y'all. And that's what's going on. So once again, guys, if any of you guys are new to my channel, I need everybody to make sure they subscribe if y'all haven't subscribed already. Royal, what is going on? Yours is to follow the banker strategy. <laughs> mm. Mikes, hit me up on Discord, brother. I think we on to something. You just gave me an idea. Since every trader wants to brand their own brand, their own strategy why not start mines i said i was gonna do it said i wasn't gonna do it but i i know i understand like why it makes sense robbing the banker strategy <laughs> robbing the banker strategy i like that didn't know you live stream when you start uh, yeah, I live stream. I do live stream. Um, I just have not been consistent, man. I honestly have not been consistent, and I need to get back to it. But uh, I, I live stream every day except for Fridays. So, all right, guys, I'm going to keep you in the loop what's going on. All right, so right now, gold ain't going to do nothing until I would say probably Sydney session. You know, other than that, we don't have any structure yet for me to confirm that to sell or buy oil. There's not going on oil because we've been choppy. And at this time, we should be moving. And the fact that it is already about to turn to noon and, you know, New York, we should have already been moving, if not move somewhere. And we're still choppy. So we still basically going to be playing a bigger play of action, which is this overall trend right here. That's how I see it now. And then for NASDAQ, since you just mentioned NASDAQ, let's go into it. Uh, NASDAQ, it's opportunities to sell it. But like I said, at this time, it's going to be playing with your feelings because of the time it is. Is there anybody here that has not already subscribed? Make sure you subscribe and like the video, guys. So other than that, guys, I'm going to be heading out because, you know, that's pretty much what it is for the market right now. Um, I'm going to be tapping in tomorrow again, guys. So if you are uh, not part of the community, check out the information down below. I need all y'all to make sure y'all tap in. Other than that, guys, I'm about to tap out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody, peace. Jordan Belfort, the way I'm ballin', girls fallin', now I'm Jordan Belfort. Jordan Belfort, Jordan Belfort, the way I started from the bottom, now I'm Jordan Belfort. Your girl wanna do me now, I'm Jordan Belfort. The Lord tryna find me now, I'm Jordan Belfort. I'm the wolf, 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 now I'm Jordan Belfort. I'm the wolf, 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 now I'm Jordan Belfort. I'm back again, man. They got Kill him. Ugh. Groupies want the work and I'ma drill him, drill him. Ooh. I'm walking through the hood cause I'm a real one, real one. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Man, I got a stun hard. <laughs> Artie game, pull up out the backyard. <laughs> and I never sold the cocoa. No. But I don't need it cause, man, my money low.
go. Jordan Belfort. Jordan Belfort. The way I'm ballin', girls fallin' now. I'm Jordan Belfort. Jordan Belfort. Jordan Belfort. The way I started from the bottom now. I'm Jordan Belfort. Your girl wanna do me now. I'm Jordan Belfort. The Lord tryna find me now. I'm Jordan Belfort. I'm the wolf, wolf, wolf. Now I'm Jordan Belfort. I'm the wolf, wolf, wolf. Now I'm Jordan Belfort. I'm a soldier boy. Let your girl tell him, tell him. And y'all ain't got no soul. I think I sell him, sell him. I'ma buy a couple, yeah, so I can sell him, sell him. And if I put you to the test, I bet you fell him, fell him. I'm all about the cash now.